Hi there guys, this is Zach and I'm just going to show you around uh, my version, well, customized version of PirateBox here. So for those of you who don't know, PirateBox is an open source uh, file sharing network platform that you can install on a router and then share files, uh, chat with people, and uh, there's little forms and everything here. Um, and this is all done on your own private little network um, that anyone can access of course, um, but it's not connected to the internet. So it has all the functionality of that without actually connecting to the internet. And so the purpose of this is, of course, is to remain anonymous and um, at the same time, you know, sort of uh, share files and talk about things the general public or people, you know, watching you online may not like you talking about. So you can see there's a chat box here. Um, you can see there's some guy named Anonymous Bob, <laughs> me, <clears throat> and Anonymous. And I've been sending myself little love notes here just to test everything out. Um, you can also upload files, so there's a little choose file to upload here, you can click that and you can send in a file. And of course it doesn't work when there's nothing uploaded. Um, I, because this is a custom design of mine as well, I've also added a device info box here. So you can say it was created June 6, 2014, it's running on a TP-Link router 203020, and then you know what version of software, size flash drive, stuff like that. And you know, okay, so the last thing is you can also browse upload files here. So you can see these are all the files I've just uploaded onto here, just as a little startup. I mean, there's 16 gigs. I, mean, I might as well throw something on here. So you can see I've uploaded uh, Dr. Strangelove as Nick Cage. Why not? Also, uh, a bit of a classic of uh, Charlie Chaplin, The Great Dictator Speech. There's that on here, so you can watch that. The Dictator of Tomania. Yep. And then, of course, you can also do MP3, so you got happiness is a warm gun. <laughs> Why not? And it's all done. Like, you can click on these. And, uh, you know, you can view them like that. I'm not going to play the full thing because I'll get dinged for copyright. Um, in any case, you can, there's also a form area you can go to. You can change the, the look of this as well, so it may look more appealing in some way. I like this one the best. And of course you got now, and I just put like a little bit of a hello world test post there, just for uh, starters. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's really all there is to it. If you want to custom edit anything on here, you can edit the CSS and HTML on the power box using SSH. And a bit of forewarning, know what you're doing because I messed up mine and then broke the box for a bit and then had to do this uh, headache to get it all back in order. So. If you're going to edit stuff, know what you're doing. HTML and CSS, it's pretty straightforward. You can't muck anything up too bad. Um, but that doesn't mean it's really simple to do. I mean, of course, know what you're doing in any case. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about PirateBox, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. But a better source of information is the PirateBox website and forum, which I also left links for in the description. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching.